So, Hugh Jackman is returning as Wolverine in Deadpool 3. <laughs> Right, so the X-Men timeline is getting even more confusing. First of all, <clears throat> it's been announced by Ryan Reynolds, well confirmed that uh, Hugh Jackman will return as Wolverine in Deadpool 3, and that they're not touching the Logan storyline. Now, the continuity of Deadpool, never mind the continuity of the main X-Men films, but the continuity of Deadpool... <sighs> right... Um, Simon Kinberg, who would be a producer of the main X-Men movies, has stated that Deadpool takes place in the same universe as the X-Men films. A lot of fans, <laughs> myself included, don't really agree with that anymore. There's a lot of reasons why. First of all, right, so, modern day, like Deadpool takes place in modern day. Deadpool is using smartphones. There's technology there that's very modern that you wouldn't have found back in the 70s or 80s. Deadpool 2 had a scene that showed James McAvoy <laughs> along with the other X-Men from the prequel trilogy. You know, we had the young beast played by Nicholas Holt. We had Quicksilver in a cameo played by Evan Peters and so on. And they still look the same in Deadpool 2 when really they should not. X-Men First Class took place in 1963 or 64. Charles Xavier was probably a bit younger than I am. He would have been maybe 25, mid-late 20s. And then Dead's Future Past is 10 years after First Class, which means he'd be 35. Then we have X-Men Apocalypse, which would make him 45. And then with Dark Phoenix, which I think would make him 55, 10 years after. But... The problem there is that they never really made the effort to have James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender look older. I think by... I think at least by Dark Phoenix or so, or X-Men Apocalypse, X-Men Apocalypse, they really should have aged them through makeup or CGI. It should have made them look older. Or in Dark Phoenix, they should have at least had like Ian McKellen and Patrick Stewart playing those roles because of where they are in the timeline. Yet they look exactly the same as they did in X Men First Class. Deadpool One is set, as far as I'm aware, in 2016. Just by the looks of the technology and the clothing, and yet Deadpool Two, which is after Deadpool One, had a cameo of, you know, the X Men from the prequel trilogy, and they all look the same, even though 2016 would be like 20 years or so after Dark Phoenix. <laughs> Right, so that, that that's one way that I can describe the continuity isn't consistent. The way that the fans see it, the way I, I think it's better this way. Let's say if Deadpool was in a different universe, where the other films are canon, whereas in the main X Men films that we all know and love, Deadpool doesn't exist in that universe. But in the Deadpool universe, the X Men films are canon, whereas in the X Men universe. The Deadpool movies aren't. See where I'm going with that? So, that's where most... That's, that's, that would make more sense. People are wondering, how are we... How is Logan, how is Wolverine coming back when, if you've seen his last movie, Logan Wolverine died and he's not coming back from that, from what we saw. Um, I can't remember if it was the director of Logan, James Mangold, or if it was Hugh Jackman himself, but, or maybe both, they seem to have hinted subtly that um, the movie Logan is very possibly in a different timeline from the main X-Men movies. It was never denied nor confirmed. So let's say Logan is in a different timeline. That would mean the ending of X-Men Days of Future Past, the future ending, where Wolverine's back in the mansion, all the X-Men are alive, that would mean that was the true canon ending. Therefore, that could explain how 
Wolverine can show up in Deadpool 3 because he's alive in that timeline, whereas Logan's in a different timeline he died in. You know? It's just the thought. That's one way. That, that, that would make more sense. Mm -hmm.